Hi, Mama Tree here. I wanted to talk more about why I feel that there are certain gifts to be found by embracing the darkness. When I talk about darkness, I mean the negative emotions, the things that we'd rather not feel. The sadness, the loneliness, the um, existential angst, the anger, um, frustration, all of those things. While I agree we don't want to spend all of our time in that place, um, it's been my personal experience that the more you try to avoid a negative emotion, the more it has control over the rest of your life. So I'll give you an example. When, when I was in college, uh, I'm 42 now, so this was probably <clears throat> when I was 18 to 21-ish. Um, I went through a lot. I was raped, I lost at my best friend to cancer, I was going through some serious physical and, and mental health issues, and, um, and I was trying to escape all of that, especially the, the rape and the death. I was trying to escape, so I was taking a variety of illegal drugs to try and block the pain of having all of this trauma and drama in my life. But you can only put that off for so long, and then it breaks loose and takes control. In this particular case, what broke was my sense of reality. I really lost my shit. There's, that's really just the only way to say it. Thankfully, I had a strong and loving family who made sure I got the help that I needed, got me back on track. And what I learned during the process of recovering from that mental health break was that you have to really pay attention to your body. If There was the, f the acronym HALT, hungry, angry, lonely, tired. And if at any point you're one of those two, hungry, angry, lonely, or tired, you have to halt what you're doing and take care of that. So that was the beginning of me learning that... Um, I needed to take care of my body and <clears throat> my awareness of that stretched to the emotional body you have to take care of your emotional body uh, if you're trying to avoid feeling certain emotions you're just creating sort of a powder keg that'll explode later especially in the case of anger now I get that it's not safe or socially appropriate to be angry in certain places at certain times. But if you choose to be sort of an emotional warrior or ninja, you can recognize, put it in a container, say, oh, look, I've got some anger over here. I'm, for instance, uh, a good friend of mine is angry that her husband left this earth via a heart attack a year ago. She's angry that he just couldn't get it together to care for his body enough to stick around and he was only 45. So you can notice you've got this anger and you could put a put a little container around it and say I'm going to feel you really soon and then you create a day and a time a certain safe place maybe it's in a weekend workshop maybe it's uh alone with a good friend or by yourself but someplace where people won't hear you and you choose to crack that open and dig in and feel it and you really feel it to its fullest and let that baby shine be as angry as you can be and it doesn't take as long and it's not as dangerous it's just like the difference between wildfires a hundred, two hundred years ago, and wildfires today. We had a hundred years where we suppressed all forest fires because we thought they were too dangerous. Then we learned that the ecosystem needed the fire to clean it out regularly. So the wildfires we had a hundred, two hundred years ago were pretty gentle and they were actually healthy. The wildfires we have today claim huge tracts of land, tons and tons of animals, and even a lot of times homes. And that's not okay. So what I'm inviting you to do is let that emotion out in a safe way on a regular basis. Let that anger burn somewhere safe. Okay?
I believe in you. You can do it. I'm going to talk more about this soon.